All right, folks, you got to work your own salvation out, but I just know I go by what Bible says exactly. A lot of people interpret it and give you their interpretation. I don't do that. I don't really know what the mark of the beast is going to be. I just know what the Bible says, but I know to be very cautious. And I don't mess around. I don't mess around with none of it. I'm going to tell you straight. I'm going to read this to you, Revelation 19. You're welcome to read. You know, I, I won't get through the whole thing. I won't have enough time, but you're welcome to get into it and read yourself. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged a great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up for ever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God, listen, omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Pay attention. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lord. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You don't worship angels and idols, and you don't do that. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as of a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God, who we talking about. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Righteousness, remember that. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, and with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, To all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourself together under the supper of the great God. And then, of course, you can go on to read it. God bless. Get your Bible.